Hello everyone, and welcome to the Quantpedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today, we will speak about cross-sectional mean reversion trading strategies. Hello everyone, my name is Radan Wojtko and I'm CEO of Quantpedia. Uh, today I would like to discuss mean reversion trading. But firstly, let's define what mean reversion means. There are two types of mean reversion. First one is time series mean reversion and the second is the cross-sectional mean reversion. Mean reversion is a financial term for the assumption that an asset price will tend to convert to the average price over time. So what does it mean? In a time series mean reversion, it means that in case we have some time series, some price of underlying asset, there can be a probability that on relative highs or on local highs, the asset will change the direction and will move back to the mean price. And on the other hand, when we are on the relative low, the asset will change direction and will move back up to the mean. That's time series mean reversion, but I will not discuss this type of the trading. I will leave that for another video. We will discuss cross-sectional mean reversion. What does cross-sectional mean reversion mean? So let's imagine that we have an investment universe that consists of multiple assets. Uh, in our case, I just selected, I don't know, one to nine sector ETFs. Uh, materials, healthcare, consumer staples, consumer discretionary, etc. What does cross-sectional mean reversion means? So let's imagine that we are at the end of the June or at the end of the May and on the 1st of the June, this is the performance of the, all of the ETFs for the previous month. So if from the 1st of May until 1st of June. Uh, the cross-sectional mean reversion means that there is a higher probability or there is a, some probability that the assets that performed not very well like energy or consumer discretionary ETF or materials will tend to have a higher performance in the next month. On the other hand, the assets that performed relatively well, like healthcare or consumer staples, so they had the smallest drawdown in the green period from 1st May until 1st June, they will not perform so well in the next period. So that's the cross-sectional mean reversion. So what it means is that instead of buying one asset or trying to guess whether the asset will revert to its average, we have a portfolio of multiple assets and we are buying the assets that underperformed on the short period and we are selling the assets that overperformed over the short period. That's the cross-sectional mean reversion. Now, reversal strategies are quite popular. They are not so popular as momentum strategies, but we have over 60 of them in our database. They consist of around 8% of our database, so that's an interesting number. I will show you one default mean reversal strategy. It's called short-term reversal effect box. What does it mean? So, in this strategy, the investment universe consists of the biggest companies in buy market capitalization. Uh, the mean reversal strategies usually perform well on uh, assets that are highly liquid, so that's really nice perk of those strategies. So in our case, we do not have a problem with the liquidity because we are trading the 100 biggest companies. And we go long the 10 stocks with the lowest performance in the previous week, and we go short the 10 stocks with the greatest performance over the previous week. The portfolio is rebalanced weekly. How does the performance look like? So we see that we have a nice performance and what is defined that especially during the years like 2008, 2009, when there is a strong drawdown on equity market, the mean reversion strategies usually perform relatively well. Uh, the same case is in for year 2022 or 2020 during the corona crisis. Mean reversion strategies are sometimes or can be sometimes used even as a crisis. Uh, now we can improve simple strategies of so going long the lowest performing stock and shorting the highest performing stock by employing multiple different factors and different weighting schemes and uh, different indicators, etc. etc. I will just show you one example of the premium strategy. It's called short-term residual reversal. What is the simple trading strategy of short-term residual reversal? So instead of using uh, just simple price appreciation or depreciation over the past week or month, we use the linear regression. We are trying to remove the influence of market factors, small cap, value, momentum factors. And we are using residuals from the regression. And this way we are trying to come up with a set of stocks that underperformed the average stock and a set of stocks that outperformed the average stock. Uh, we are shorting those that outperformed, we are going long those that underperformed. What is the added value of this regression and this uh, short term residual reversal trading strategy? So we have better performance, especially during the last, last years. So thank you very much for your attention and I hope uh, that you will join me in the next video. Interested? Then pick another video to learn more, or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.